in 1985 when you made your record, did it have a big response or bigger response than you thought it would around the world? Yeah. What was it like? I guess we didn't really have expectations, but we believed we had whispered something good. And I think we were probably surprised at how many people picked up that. Yeah. And um, so the voice and the writing and everything was very unique, but what was really provocative to me was the production of the first album. It wasn't like anything I'd ever heard. I think because we, we'd been working in isolation, we didn't know what other people were really doing. Yeah. You know, we just were following our imagination. We kind of felt that the only chance to, to make a record that we would ever get, so. So you did it. So yeah, you tried it hardest, yeah. absolutely hardest. Yeah. How long did it take you to make that record? In the studio, uh, it took about five, five and a half months, but looking back in now, you see that there was a period before it that we did yeah. an awful lot of work too. I think your first record generated incredible goodwill from people, everybody who heard it, but especially artists. Um, so, are you happy with the album that you just made? Did, did it come out the way you wanted it to in the end? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah. It's honest. It's beautiful. Thank you. How do I know you feel it? How do I know you feel it? You said it was. You said you thought it had a lot of hope and impact in it, yeah. too. Because I think, I mean, you know the three of us now, and I think that. I was kind of knowing. You know, we're kind of tough romantics. You know, I think you have to be strong or firm to hold out and express the tender moment mm -hmm. and accept each, don't you? Yeah. You know, really, and accept each other's strengths and vulnerabilities in equal measure. And I think that's the way, for instance, to be manly rather than to always be coming on macho. Why did it take you five years? Oh, no. <laughs> we asked them to, make a to ask you, no, to ask you. <laughs> We just kind of were waiting for the right songs. Did you ha so you didn't have them all when you started? No, we didn't have. We were wor always working, but we didn't feel what we were doing was coming from the heart. Oh. It was kind of, we felt we were being persuaded into working. Yeah. So we kept on trying and trying, and we were recording things, but we didn't feel they were real instinctive. So I think that between us, you know, we always had agreed to try and just do something that was true. Yeah. Privacy is really important for you, maintaining your life in that place you're from. And I think it's important when you're, when you're working, because most people have too many distractions anyway, but for us, distractions are absolutely endless. So yes, you have to find the, I suppose to speak of the quiet moment in the music, you have to find the quiet moment yourself, if you, you know, choose mm. to express it. But as soon as you've got into a, a deadline situation, no matter how casual, yeah. obviously it affects what you're doing. And we don't need so much privacy as we need to respect the fact that music's a natural and a greater thing than we are. And if we're going to manufacture it inside our heads, then it's not going to be as good as it, as it could be. It's not going to meet everybody that you meet, it's not going to respond to you, but you have to give each other the benefit of the doubt, I think, and your attitude, and that was, that's the way we've survived, you know, because when we made the first album, it was so against the tide, and we had no one on our side, but we made it okay, I guess, just because people helped us and looked out for us, and we want to keep on doing that. I mean, I don't want to give somebody something so they'll give me $10. I want to give them something, I just so that it exists. Yeah.